Hey there, maybe that you have a high blood pressure or a heart failure and your doctor prescribed you lisinopril, also known as Prinivil. And in this video we will cover how and when to use it, what side effects it can cause, what dosage you need to use and much much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. And for those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate you, my viewer, because educated people make healthier decisions. So let's get learning. As mentioned, the generic name of this medication is lisinopril and is available under the brand name Prenivil as a tablet. If you want to use it, just swallow it whole and it's best to do so at fixed times. This will make you less likely to forget a dose. And if you experience dizziness as a side effect, you could best take it in the evening before going to bed. Now, lisinopril is part of a group of drugs called ACE inhibitors. These drugs widen up your blood vessels, thus lowering blood pressure and lowering the strain on the heart. Which explains why lisinopril can be used to treat a high blood pressure or heart failure. Which brings us to the correct dose just to use. And here I want to mention that I can only provide you with some guidelines. Always use to prescribe the amount and frequency your doctor gave you, as specific dosages might depend on your indication of use, the symptoms you might experience, or the side effects you might experience. However, when treating a high blood pressure in adults, most doctors will start with an initial dose of 10 mg once per day, which if necessary can be slowly increased up to a maximum dose of 20 to 80 mg once per day. When treating heart failure, the initial dose is much lower and needs to be built up over a longer time. Ultimately, the maintenance dose will be about 20 to 35 mg once per day. Now, lisinopril can be a very effective drug, but unfortunately, it can also cause some side effects. I will discuss some of the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, then check your leaflet, ask your doctor or your pharmacist. Commonly, it might cause a low blood pressure, dizziness, headache, or renal impairment. Uncommonly, it can cause palpitations, a rapid heartbeat, nausea, abdominal pain, or a sleeping disorder. Rarely, it can cause a rash, hair loss, a dry mouth, and blood count abnormalities. And very rarely, it could cause several major side effects. Which brings us to the safety of use. And here it is important to mention that lisinopril, especially in the first few days when you start using it, can cause fatigue or dizziness. If you do experience any of these, then please do not drive as it can be dangerous. Furthermore, alcohol can widen up the blood vessels. It can therefore increase the side effects of dizziness at the beginning of the treatment. Try drinking alcohol in moderation at first, so you can estimate its effect in combination with lisinopril. Lisinopril can also have interactions with other drugs you're taking. And lastly, it can be dangerous for women which are breastfeeding or which are pregnant. Always discuss this with your personal doctor. Now, I hope you know now how to use lisinopril, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, and we'll do my best to answer each and every one of them. For those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description, and I want to give special thanks to my Patreon supporter. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an university supporter, and I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you did learn something, if you did like the video, please click the like and subscribe button. It will help out the channel tremendously, and in return, I will be posting weekly medical videos to educate you. Thank you so much. If you can't get enough, check out the Instagram as well, at HowToMedicate. We'll see you next week with a new video. Bye-bye.